Hey, what's going on, you beautiful people? My name's Tadai. I hope you guys had a pretty awesome day today. My day's been pretty awesome so far. So, welcome to a brand new speed art. This is one I'm super excited to bring you guys. I posted this on Twitter the other day, and people really loved it. This is a speed art of a custom skateboard that I made over the past couple of days. I think the total time on this was either four or five hours, probably closer to five hours. So it wasn't too too long, but I had a lot of fun doing this. Now, the reason I wanted to make a skateboard was because I thought it was sort of a, a simple shape, but at the same time, I could bring graphic design into it as well because of the bottom of the skateboard deck has to be a custom piece of art so I sort of did some uh, some custom stuff there threw in my logo did something cool some low poly as well because I know a lot of you guys love seeing the low poly on my channel it was something I already made but I used it as well and I think it turned out really good I used a normal map for the grip tape I modeled everything in Maya did the UVs of Maya like normal but I also did some things in programs that I haven't used on this channel before for example an X normal this is a free to use program that you can download for completely for free it's a fantastic program for baking out maps so I big uh, I believe I baked out my normal map in my ambient include map right there so I downloaded that program I, I baked those out and I used those and I imported it over to substance painter where I uh, also used Photoshop to make my design and then I put it all the substance painter so I had my aimed inclusion my normal map and my bottom deck logo and I put that all into there textured it up added the normal map for the grip tape like I said added some cool stuff on the wheels and all in all I'm very happy with how this turned out people loved it on Twitter like I said and uh, it was just a lot of fun making if anything the hardest part was probably the trucks of the skateboard and I'm not a huge skateboard guy so I had a ton of reference images doing so and if you want to do something like this of course I recommend having reference images doing so but I uh, I had a bunch of images I finally I think I brought this up in another video of mine but I bought three monitors and the reason I did that is so I can sort of you know utilize my space a bit more do things a lot easier and always have reference images and and comparisons on other monitors and that helps out so so much I cannot stress enough how amazing it was that I was able to always be looking at the real thing so if you are getting into design I'd highly recommend doing something like that but anyways as far as the polygon count on this goes I believe it was around 1500 in the texture size. I did make it a little bit higher than normal at uh, 2k, so 2048 by 2048. And all in all, a lot of fun doing this project. I think a lot of you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, hopefully you enjoy watching the speed art. This is definitely up there with one of my favorites. My favorite part was actually when I was done the skateboard and I started adding some like wear and tear. Like I started showing like uh, some some damage near the tail of the board where the person would be stopping and some damage on the trucks where they'd be grinding or doing a 50-50. And like I said, I'm not a huge skateboard guy, but I really loved the game Skate 2. Uh, growing up, that was one of my favorite games. I guess not like really growing up because it's not that old of a game. But for the PS3, Skate 2 was definitely one of my favorite games. So I, I really wanted to sort of make something I'm like, hey, I wonder if I can make a model like that. And I guess I could. I mean, this is something where I'm like, I wonder if I could do it. I tried. I planned it out. That's another thing. I really planned this out. I have notes all over my table here of how I wanted to plan it out. When I was finding my reference images, I planned out, you know, what parts am I going to have to make uh, separately? What parts am I going to combine? And all in all, planning things out and having reference images. That is the key to making something look freaking awesome. Anyways, guys, I'm not going to be talking for the entire video. I'm just going to let the rest of this play out with some awesome music. If you guys are wondering what the intro music is or any of the music in the background, and of course will be in the description below so make sure to check that out but once again guys a like on this video would be amazing comment in your thoughts and if you're new here feel free to press that subscribe button for more content but once again guys my name has been tie dye hopefully you enjoyed the video and i will catch you in the next one see ya
Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use. Cause you can't stop it from shining through. It's true, baby, let the light shine through. If you believe it's true, baby, won't you let the light Into the night, I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through, it's true, baby let the light shine through, if you believe it's true. 